So episode 12 of Power Ranger Beast Morphers was really, really fun. And I mean really, really fun. This was a really enjoyable episode for basically a focus episode. I mean, we didn't focus on any of the Blaze and Roxy stuff. That wasn't mentioned at all this entire episode. Not even brought up once. It mostly focused on the plot between Steel and Nate and their little fight that they have that we'll get in during the recap of the episode. And I've got to give props to the actor, the voice actor of Steel, and Abraham Rodriguez, who plays Nate, because these actors went all out, and we saw Abraham do all kinds of emotions as Nate this episode. He was angry, he was a little bit evil and cheeky, he was happy again. He played all kinds of emotions in this one episode, so special props to him, he did a top-notch job in this episode. So let's get into the review slash recap and talk about today's episode. So the episode begins with Nate in the lab working on something we'll be seeing in future episodes. The Cheetah Claws. Now the Cheetah Claws don't make an appearance in this episode unfortunately, but we have seen the Cheetah Claws in promotional stuff such as uh, leaked set photos, toys I believe, and even in the opening. So these Cheetah Claws are bound to make an appearance sooner than later. I get the feeling we'll see him in the next episode or two because that's what Beast Morphers does. It sets up little hints and nodges for stuff that's going to appear later down the line in future episodes. So while Nate is working on the Cheetah Claws, still wants to go scuba diving, mountain climbing and skiing because he says those things will make him human. Although Nate interjects saying those things won't make him human because he's not human to begin with. And this is where we see that Nate is getting frustrated with Steel. You hear his tone of voice. He's a little bit ticked off with Steel. And then Devin walks in and says, do you want to go play basketball? And Nate doesn't really give an answer, but this is when Zoe walks up to Nate and she's basically the mum or the big sister of the group because she says, Steel just wants to go and explore. Just go play basketball with him. So when Nate turns around, he sees Devon talking with Steel, and Steel walks off to play basketball with Devon. And Nate, Nate's a bit upset, and you'll find out why later down the line in the episode. We then cut to a random city in New Zealand where you see a loading dock tray with a photocopier at the end with a man loading it on and Blaze appears and this is where I get the feeling that we have different writers for this episode because like I said at the start of the review the whole Blaze and Roxy trying to get Beast Morph for power is never brought up so I get the feeling this episode must have been done somewhere before that in production I don't really know the idea if this episode has a different production order than the last few episodes, but anyway. So, Blaze creates a brand new monster that's made out of a photocopier that can scan people and turn into them. And he's going to use it to create a ranger. We'll get into that later. We then cut back to Grid Battle Force where the others have finished their game of basketball. And we do get a funny joke where Devin says, you're not meant to headbutt the ball. And as he walks in on screen, he's got the deflated basketball attached to his stag beetle horn heads. And that got me a few laughs because the voice actor of Steel this episode does a top-notch job, like I said at the start of the review. Like, he's very, very over the top with his emotions. And he's just fun to hear talk, like every line he delivers is really good so whoever was the voice actor director in this episode did a really good job in this episode so anyway uh with the ball popped still goes i can fix this where he puts a lot of duct tape on the ball and uses nate's air compressor while this is going on bed and betty walking with pizza and still gets distracted saying i smell pizza i would like some and then betty says robots don't have mouths and he's like oh and then he gets warned by Devin that the ball is about to explode and the ball for comedic purposes gets really big in CGI and floats around the room, hits the pizza into Ben and falls back and still goes to catch it and as he catches it he lands on the little trolley with the cheetah claws that nearly knocks him onto the ground and in this shot where they're nearly falling on the ground you can definitely see that the props for the Cheetah Claws are the toys from the Sentai or whatever they'll, whatever they'll be releasing either because you can sort of tell that for Power Rangers for the longest time most of the props they use are toys from Japan. But anyway, um, the Cheetah Claws nearly fall on the ground, Nate catches them and this is where you see Nate actually loses temper. You actually see Nate 
lose his cool this episode where he shows anger towards Chill saying, next time you do something like this ever again, you won't be welcome back in my lab. And still gets really upset. He apologizes, but still, still's really upset because he's never seen Nate this angry at him before. But anyway, they get a call from the commander saying that Blaze and a droid is somewhere in the park. So the rangers head there to try and find the bad guy. So the rangers arrive at the park to try and find the Robotron and Blaze appears behind them where he distracts them and when they arrive at the park the first shot you see is people running around scared and then you have a close up of the robo drone that turned into the um, repair guy or the loader dock guy earlier on in the episode he's just sitting there reading a magazine while Blaze distracts him and then he stands up he scans Nate and then the rangers get into a fight with the Tronics. And this was a really, really fun fight because you see all five rangers fighting off the um, Tronic drones. And Nate is overwhelmed. He's like, I could use a little help here. And still goes, I'm helping you, Devon. And then he runs right past Nate and goes to help out Devon, which was kind of funny for comedic effect because just the timing on that voice actor where he goes, I'll help you. Devon was really good. That got another life out of me. Like, like I said, Steel's voice actor was on point this episode. Just his delivery and just the way he handled it. Like, even though it's a guy in a suit and he has to do voiceover later, his timing as the um, vo like for the voiceover was really, really good with all the movement going on in this episode. So, Nate is being overwhelmed. Steel comes to help him, and Steel is about to shoot at the um, is it the Tronic? I think it's the Tronic of the Robo Drone, but anyway, still misses and almost accidentally shoots Nate, and things are going to get a little bit heated between the two later on throughout the episode. They're not the best of friends right now. But if there's one thing I really, really did enjoy about Steel coming to Devon's rescue is when he knocks Blaze out of the way because he comes between him, he breaks up the fight, and what we've got here is a wide shot where the camera zooms out to Devon and Blaze fighting, and you can, it's not a close-up, it's a wide shot, a bit of a wide shot, and you just see Steel coming in, he breaks him apart, he hits, like, I don't know what kind of fighting move it is with, like, Steel, but he basically knocks Blaze in the gut and he's sent flying backwards. I know the actors are trained to do that when they get hit they get knocked backwards but just the way it's filmed got a big laugh out of me when I re-watched it as I'm recording this because he jumps in knocks him backwards if you watch the scene that I'm talking about you'll know what I'm talking about but either way it got a chuckle out of me with how that scene was filmed. Anyway, back to the review. So after Nate nearly gets shot by Steel, we cut back to Grid Battle Force where the two are in trouble by Commander Shaw saying that their lack of teamwork is ruining the team. Rangers are supposed to work together. And as Steel and Nate are going to apologize, Nate almost shakes Steel's hand. But then Devin walks in with a basketball going, yo, I got a new board. Do you want to shoot some hoops with me? And Steel's like, I'd love to. But then... As soon as Steel catches the basketball, Nate has a look on his face and goes, Can I please be dismissed? I need to get some stuff for my new equipment. And she's like, Certainly. So Nate drives off to get new equipment, and Steel, Steel is feeling a little sad after this little meeting. He's upset Nate, and he doesn't know how to fix his problem. He tried apologizing, but it doesn't look like that's helping. We then cut to outside of Grid Battle Force HQ where Blaze and the Robotron are watching and the Robotron turns into Nate and walks right past the front gate able to sneak in and his plan is to ruin the Megazord contra like the Megazord computer he's going to smash it with a hammer spoilers but that's his plan his big plan is to smash the computer with the hammer it doesn't really work out spoilers but anyway Seeing how each episode you see the bad guys almost getting closer and closer to sneaking into Grid Battle Force HQ, we see progress between them. I mean, uh, a few episodes ago, Roxy was going to drill underneath them. Now this episode, we had a, ro a Robotron that could turn into the Rangers and get right past the front gate. Who knows how closer they're going to be getting closer and closer to sneaking into their base with all that military tech and stuff because... They get closer, they're getting closer and closer, so who knows what's going on. So, 
There's a duplicate Nate walking around, and this is a really fun because you see a monotone, monotone Nate played by Abraham, where he runs into steel, and he's trying to remember everything that happened. He's like, "Hey, it's water under the bridge," and Steel's like, "Can I help you?" He's like, "Oh yeah, just get something out of the car." So while this is happening, uh, Nate, not Nate, Steel goes outside and he opens up the car, going, "Hey." Nothing's in here, and as that exact same time happens, the real Nate pulls up and goes, Nate, I'm here to help you, and Nate goes, I don't need your help, and he's very confused because he just apologized with the fake copy, so still thinks that they're all friends again, but something seems to be alright, so Zoe goes inside to talk to the real Nate, and this is where we learn a little about Nate, and Nate's upset mostly because, well Zoe says you're upset because Devon, no, still didn't offer you the play basketball of Devon, and Nate goes, the reason why I'm upset is because I'm bad at sports, I've never been good at them, I'm only good at science, so I'm not the best at sports, so that's why I'm upset, because I'm not good at sports, so Nate's upset that he's not good at sports, so Still is listening into the conversation between Zoe and Nate, and as this is going on, the fake Nate walks past and still catches him and blasts him. Because I forgot to mention, when he talks to the um, fake Nate, um, the Robotron Nate, still goes, I'll never fire, fire at you by accident. I promise that. And he actually, and the first thing, not the first thing, but you actually get to see still open fire on the fake Nate, which is a little callback to the promise they made earlier on. So the Robodron Nate slash Steel breaks the Megazord computer and as the Rangers come in there are two Steels. Which one is the real Steel? That's actually a line in the episode. I'm the real Steel. So they're trying to figure out which one is the real Steel and it's very easily. I mean they don't even play that much mind games with you which one is the real one because the real Steel says Nate I'm sorry about the conversation I heard that you had earlier with Zoe and then Nate shoots at the real one and apologizes to Steel saying I'm very sorry because forgiving is what makes us human or something like that um so anyway they blast the fake and it teleports outside so we can cut to Sentai footage and original Beast Morpher morph suit footage where they fight the um monster of the day where Zoe and Ravi take it out while Devon is in the um uh cheetah bot I believe it's called yeah, the cheetah bot, the giant zord, I forget its name, I'm sorry. So, he fights the giant zord that turns into him, and the others show up and they're like, which one's the real one? So Zoe shoots at it, which reveals the, um, imposter, so they form the megazord and save the day. I kind of rush over that part, but that's basically what happens. The megazord fight is very get to the point, and they destroy it without any struggles in this episode. So, they destroy the megazord and the day is saved. Uh, we then cut to Grid Battle Force HQ where Nate is trying to shoot scrunched up pieces of paper into the bin and then Steel walks in and they apologize to each other, they're friends at the end of the day and Steel says, hey, just think of basketball like a brand new science that you don't understand. Think of it, the, think of it as the unknown to explore in the world of science. And Nate's like, that's a logical um, conclusion or a logical way of thinking. So we then cut to the others outside and they're all playing basketball. They're all having fun and still goes, I'll show you my secret move, which I'm pretty sure is illegal in real basketball, but it's TV, street basketball, so there are no rules. So he holds the ball and he moves around. He then passes it to Nate. Nate holds the ball and still picks up Nate and throws him into the hoop and they fall through and they're like that's two points we win and they celebrate and win the end they win their game but not really because they all like Ravi Zoe and Devon say weren't they behind in 20 points and they say just let them have this one so end of the day Nate and Steel are friends again no word on what's going on with the Blaze and Roxy stuff because I feel like different writers handled this one but overall this was a fun episode of Power Ranger Beast Morphers I really really did enjoy it but anyway guys that's my review of episode 12 of Power Ranger Beast Morphers Real Steel if you've watched the episode tell me what you thought of the episode in the comment section down below I'd love to hear your thoughts if you enjoyed this review hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you're new then Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys around, peace out, take care, bye.